Time. It's the one thing we all wish we had more of and yet it's one thing that remains constant. No matter who you are, where you are from or what you do, we all get the same 24 hours in a day. It's how we use those 24 hours that makes all the difference. Hi there, I'm a developer just like you. I have been in the trenches battling bugs, chasing deadlines and juggling multiple projects. And today I want to share with you some techniques which has helped me stay focused and prioritize my works better. First, we need to understand time. Time is a resource and like any other resources, it can be managed. But unlike other resources, time is finite. Once it is gone, it's gone. So you need to use it wisely. I remember this particular time when I was working really long hours along with my team, barely sleeping and trying to push ourselves more just so that we can meet a deadline, but we were not going anywhere. I was spending all my time fixing bugs, monitoring the most recent deployment and chugging yet another energy drink while trying to feel accomplished for all the hard work I have been trying to put in. But in reality, that is when I realized I am not really managing my time effectively and that is when I learned being productive doesn't mean getting a lot of work done but it's all about getting to prioritize what's important and getting those things done first. The key to effective time management is prioritization. Not all tasks are created equal, some are more important than others, some are more urgent and some can be delegated or even eliminated. One technique which I found particularly useful is called Eisenhower Matrix which I came across while reading Atomic Habits. It's a simple tool which helps you prioritize tasks by urgency and importance, sorting out less important or urgent topics which you can either delegate or completely eliminate. The matrix is divided into four quadrants, urgent and important tasks that you should do immediately, important but not urgent tasks that you should schedule to do later, urgent but not important tasks that you should delegate and neither urgent nor important tasks that you should eliminate. Let me explain this a little better with an example. Imagine you are a developer and you have four tasks on your plate fixing a critical bug, writing a code for a feature that is due next release, responding to an email and browsing through coding forum. In the Eisenhower matrix, fixing the critical bug is both urgent and important, so it goes to the first quadrant. Writing code for the next release is important but not as urgent, so it goes to the second quadrant. Responding to the colleague's email is urgent but not important, so it goes to the third one and as you can guess, surfing the coding forum is neither urgent nor important, so it goes to the fourth one. By categorizing my task into these four quadrants, I was able to focus on what really mattered and let go of tasks that were not really contributing to my progress. One of my favorite techniques which can be applied from anywhere like your to-do list to your sprint board to cleaning your room is how to manage to-do debt. We all have those tasks which keep on piling, right? They accumulate on your to-do list and while you're dealing with the last one, more keeps piling up. It's like my desk that gets cluttered over the week and every weekend, instead of deciding which item needs to be here, I put everything in a bag and return to a clean slate. And when I need something again from the bag, it's then when I can postpone the decision making too. This way you can very easily chuck out a bunch of things which are not a priority anymore but has been sitting on your list for a while. It's a simple yet effective way to manage your to-do list and really focus on things which actually matter. Once you have prioritized your tasks, the next challenge is staying focused. In our world of constant notifications and endless distractions, this is easier said than done. But here is something which really worked for me, the Pomodoro technique. It's a very popular time management method which breaks your work in chunks of 25 minutes followed by a short break. Well, something I have to call out here is the usual Pomodoro timers of 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of break did not really work with me and I switched to a more modified 50 minutes of work followed by 10 minutes of break schedule. That is because whenever developers are knee deep into work, they enter a zone called the flow, also known as a zen mode. And once you're in the flow, it might actually harm you more to take a break and come back and try to remember what you were doing than taking a longer work session followed by a slightly longer break. For the last couple of years, I've been using this technique to stay focused at one task at a time and the regular breaks prevent burnout, give me a chance to complete my stand goals and reminds me that I haven't been hydrating enough. But here's the thing, even with the best time management techniques, there will be days when things don't go as planned and that is okay. It's very important that you understand that failure is the part of the process. It's not about how many times you fall but how many times you get up and every time you do, you're a little more wiser, you have a little more experience on things which did not work and distractions which overcame you and that gives you 
an edge over your past self. So there you have it friends, my guide to prioritizing tasks and staying focused as a developer. Remember time is the most valuable resource, so use it wisely. And remember, in the long run, being a productive person doesn't mean you get to cram more work into the same number of hours in your day, but rather think of it as a tool which lets you prioritize every single thing that is important in your life. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please go below and click the like button so that the algorithm can show this to more people like you. And have a nice week and I'll see you on the next one.